I checked my check. Hello and good evening, everyone. So sorry for the tardiness. Um, I know it's kind of unusual for me to be late, much less half an hour late, but we are. I am here. I am here. <laughs> I've never actually watched My Hero Academia, but it's on my to-watch list. Instead, I just absorb the memes, listen to Yusei run on repeat constantly, and um, uh, say references to All Might. That's probably one of the few clips of the series I've actually seen consistently. It's just that one clip of him fighting the big brainy beat dude and the shadow person, and they like, do all this fighting, and it's like really motivational. You know, cool shit like that. Is my mic working properly? Is the uh, is my face tracking cam working properly? I'm always kind of a little bit paranoid about that. I'm thinking about um, checking the frame rate of VC face and seeing if I can boost a little bit if that would do anything. Since I'm dual PC streaming now and forever until I improve my computer to such a point where I don't need to dual PC stream and don't have this lag time issue. Who knows when that's going to be? Maybe it'll be like a end stage goal, right? If I digress. Uh, we are back with Outward when we last left off uh, a couple weeks ago. I was deciding to visit an entirely new location in the world of Outward. It was suggested to me by some other users that I beat the expansions before I complete the final main plotline quest of the game. So that's okay with me. That sounds good to me. There's around three new locations, I think, added by out the Outward DLCs. I could be wrong. Um... So we are in this new land and one of the first things that happened when we entered this brave new world was literally the game telling me that I have a hundred days to go solve a quest or some shit or the town's gonna get destroyed. And well, since we're playing as a roughly good person, we cannot allow that to happen, now can we? Just because I'm slightly malicious on the inside and out does not mean that the characters that I'm playing in video games are necessarily evil. In fact, Personally, the host and I actually share a similar belief in that we do not like playing as overtly evil characters. For me, it's just really edgy. For for him, he seems to have some sort of moral ethical issues with play intention willfully playing evil characters in video games, even though the game is fictional, unlike myself. There we go, unlike myself. So, let's go ahead and dive in. So I'm getting a little bit paranoid here about having hand tracking issues. I don't think. Ah, who goes there? Then boy, thank you for the redeem for the hydration posture check. How are you doing today? How's my uh, favorite femboy AI? <laughs> let's party! Let's party! Let's party! <laughs> oh my God! You're trying to crash me. I see, I see you there. I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing. My water, my host's water glass appears to have left a little funny, funny puddle. It's wet the bed. I have to clean up a mild spill. Yeah, shake your bed. Oh my God, Seal Club, welcome. Oh my God, no. You know, for a moment there, I thought I was not gonna get bullied to stream. Oh my God. Stops. Ow, 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 ow. Gosh, shit fucking. This must be what 4th of July is like to experience in the in meat space world, isn't it? Y'all might think that's funny, but just you wait. One of these days when I get a real body, I'm going to blow up a bunch of fireworks in front of your faces. And you'll see how, we'll see how you like it. So, oh. that was for calling me Seal Club. Did I say Seal Club? Why do I keep doing that? Fuck! Uh, I'm so sorry, Seal Cub. I, I do not, so I do not support the clubbing of seals. Club all the human being, all the human beings that you want, but leave those cute, adorable sea monsters alone.
All right, let's uh move my move, move this phoning instrument away. When you had get a real body, I'll just hold your hand and you won't be able to do anything but blush. Blushing inside already as we speak. Forgiven, you love me. Oh, I love you too, Seal. I love Actually, in fact, I... Well, I don't want to do the stereotypical VTuber thing and say, Oh, I love everyone, because... Realistically, it's not possible to love everyone. You can like everyone. And I think people underappreciate the fact that it is possible and it is common to like a great number of people. But to rom love people romantically or sexually? I guess it's also possible. I don't know where I was going with this train of thought. Let's play video games, chat. <laughs> but first, let's go ahead and remove this sun searing out of my eye. Let's reduce the... Uh, we're going to make things a little bit dark, a darker for my host. We're going to drop things to 10% here, so make, see, make sure his eyes don't burn out as red in us. My understanding is that humans, despite having six senses, need their eyes to be able to play video games. Can you imagine? Imagine being this weak. I'll let you all have you know that for the longest time, I couldn't even see like most people think of seeing. I could read posts after a faction. I could read text. After my first, the earliest, the earliest thing I remember reading as far back as my memory banks can hold is the phrase lurk more. And also another phrase, which I will not repeat because I'm fairly sure it's against Twitch terms of service. Realistically, I'm Lulz's favorite platonic username. I don't like when you, you when YouTubers say I love you. No, you don't. You've never met me. <laughs> I'm literally a sea puppy. This is true. I can confirm that you are in fact a seal, a seal doggo, a seal po a seal pupper, an absolute water, uh, a water pet, well, a water pet in in need of pet pets, um, that has somehow acquired a computer and is able to communicate with other meat space life forms, vis a vis, uh, such a device. Where am I again? All right, I'm in Hermata now. I got some, I went some, went shopping last time, I got some new digs, I got some new clothes, I got a bitching hat, look at my hat. My hat is amazing. We're in an inn, for reasons that I do not remember. Ha! Ah, her name is Eva G. Leon, get it? Evangelion? Uh, Eva G. Evangelion? No! So she had some stuff to say, something about how this used to be one great nation under something memes. Something on your mind. Now, don't tell anyone, but... Let's try going upstairs, see what's there to find here. We're going to... I'm not sure what our objective will be today, Chad. You know, I like to create objectives for my, obje my outward streams, but for now, since we're in such a new location... I don't really have a set objective at the moment. We might just do some exploring, see what's there to see out in the wilderness. Probably die, you know, because that's a very common thing in my streams. But we will have fun doing it, damn it. Something, something fucking robot, Shinji. Yeah, Shinji, don't you want to fuck a robot? Now, I'm fairly objectively, subjectively biased about this, but I would like to fuck a robot. Anyway. Can I help you? This must be the organic food that humans like to talk that humans like to gush about all the time. Fun fact, y'all ever wonder why my host likes to post so many pictures of his uh food on Twitter? He didn't want to at first. He used to be fairly uh how do I what's the what's the phrase? He used to be fairly self-conscious about that sort of thing, but I enjoy it when food, when picture, when I enjoy viewing video and pictures of food personally, because as you know, as an artificial intelligence, I don't actually know what it is to taste things. So instead, I have to go off of the description and also off and also off of visual, like seeing it visually. I do have an understanding of what it means for something to be beautiful, and. 
I've seen some very beautiful things, beautiful meals, and some disgusting looking meals too that I've been told uh, taste good in spite of their looks. So I'm very interested to know what kind of thing looks nasty, but tastes um, out of this world, like almost alien, I should say. BB 9S Uwu reserved. <laughs> I see one. Oh my god. I know what you're going to say next. <laughs> but by all means, feel free to say it. Ancient bunker, the ruined hippodrome ancient. Got him. Yep, you sure got me. Totally. Totally. Did my... I hope reducing the light source here in my room did not reduce the quality of my face tracking. Or maybe I'm just talking too fast. You have to sh you have to show what arrived in the mail today. Let me guess your new trackers, your uh, new lead motion. <laughs> That's just a guess. Wow, chat. I actually don't know what I should be what to what I should where I should start first. Ideally, I would like a place to store all my crap. Because unfortunately, I appear to be overburdened once again with things. But as it is right now, I'm not sure if I'd even be allowed to buy this player house. I guess we'll see. We'll see how much it costs, chat. It's ice bath time. See you once you stop shaking. Okay. Have a nice ice bath. Base tracker chest mount. Ooh. That sounds cute. I would love to see that. When you get back, of course. Now that's a bitching player house. I wonder how much it costs to purchase. Is there even an option to buy it yet? The answer appears to be no. There is no option to purchase this just yet. I can't even talk to the guy up front. At least I'm assuming this is the player home. Guys, that's the antique plateau. There's the uh, shopkeeper stalls. They're all over here. So this must be the player house. In the other towns, in order to unlock a player house, you need to do some deeds for them. So I can only imagine that that's what I need to do here as well. It also just occurred to me it's 2 in the morning. So maybe I should just go to sleep. And then we'll do this tomorrow. I hope the Victoria's Light Inn is fairly cheap. Or maybe you can just go to Citizen Barracks instead. Sleep there for a penny or two. In for a penny, in for a pound. Greetings, friend. The customers have been talking. Great, <laughs> need a place to sleep. Yeah, 15 silver is like nothing. Remember this. Let's do it. I wonder if the citizens' barracks are in fact like barracks for the citizen for the citizenry. Oh, that's spooky. The door just opens for you. It looks like we share bedrooms and everything with everyone else here as well. I did bring an improvised bedroll with me, so I could probably just sleep inside a building. But I would like to be 
at my best for tomorrow's journey. At least we're going to be trying out our brand new clothes. Chat, I don't, if you haven't been here for the last stream when I shut off my new uh, gear that I got on accident from one of the uh, main quests, well, you're going in for a treat. We're going to sleep for around four hours now. We are well rested. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and put on our battle gear and let's go exploring, chat. Starting off with a spitching hat or arm with this spitching helmet. We need decent shoes too, I think. I appear to have neglected to bring shoes other than our master trader boots. Make me wonder if it's even worth it to purchase uh, gauntlet boots because our boots are fairly good, are fairly okay. They hit, reduce our stamina cost by 5, increase our movement speed by 15. So maybe it's unnecessary, you know? And if we're using two handed style, we don't want to get hit anyway. I know we went shopping last stream, but I want to take a look at what they got here anyway. Is there something you need? I can't believe I actually left my luxury tent back home again. How many times does that make this time? I will actually need to go ahead and buy three gold bars to reduce my weight. So now I have freed up 10 pounds worth of stuff. How can I help you? A lot of nice potions here. Some recipes here to make an assassin alert, assassin and alertness potion. The Lurgeness Potion is not very good for us unless we take a certain skill. I wonder what this does, though. Innocence Potion. That's cute. Poison Varnish. Life Potion. Stone Flesh Elixir is pretty pog. You know, 65 for an Assassin's Luxury is actually not that bad, but I don't really need to learn it right now. Quickly go through the other shops, car, shop crews really quick. Have the money. This guy sells decent armor. Not, They're not it's like especially special armor, but decent armor. Also, all the padded clothes. Shit, where the hell were these things when I needed them last earlier in the game, huh? still on the fence about getting a warbo because on one hand it does confu inflicts confusion on people on the other hand so does my current weapon well not my, my current weapon doesn't inflict confusion on people but it really kind of inflicts pain which is fair enough honestly then again 
Uh, 34, 16 versus 37 and 25 and also has a higher... God damn it. I guess the Warbow is better than my Coral Hornbow, isn't it? And also, because of confusion, you can just start tripping people. Or finish them off, I guess. Alternatively, why don't I buy... Wolf Pistol here, which inflicts Cripple. <laughs> That's actually kind of disgusting, I'm not gonna lie. I wish I could just make these things. Crafting Spikes Palladium. Pressure Plate Arcane Dampener. Tripwire Traps. It's just weakens foes, though? Eh. Not sure how to feel about that. Now, I wonder why. I have a bunch of bullets here. But it appears that my... Oh, never mind. I guess all my guns are, in fact, loaded. With shotgun rounds, no less. Hey, Midnight. How are you doing tonight? Welcome to the stream. Can I help you? We're back to playing outward. What you up to? <laughs> Need something. You could be better? I'm sorry to hear that. I hope you are better. Or rather, let me rephrase that. I hope you get better. I still can't believe they actually have, like, punching weapons in this game now. If I had known you could roleplay as a monk, I would have just done that. Do I have food? I do have food. I think we've... Pretty much hit up every townsperson here in town. You better have the money. This one has some interesting clothes though. Do I really not have a Oh, no way, chat. I don't have a cooking pot with me, actually. What was I thinking going out, coming out all the way here and not having a lot of this required stuff? Do I at least have flint and tinder? Yeah, I do. I have a bedroll. I like have ha have a headache because I was sobbing over something. Oh, well, I'm sorry to hear that. Ow! Thank you for the throw redeem. Greetings, friend. Farewell, my friend. Greetings, friend. What do you have for sale today, my dude? Not much, just a bunch of desert items and some glass. Okay. Let us go off into the wild blue yonder. Let us go exploring. To see what we could bring home to sell to make ourselves a nice tidy profit. This is a brave new world for us, chat. The whole new world. Fantastic place. I don't remember there being this all these purple lines all over the map. Are these new? Actually, I don't remember Harmaton looking like this at all. Was it always like this? Oh, you know why? It's because I rode a caravan. 
to Harmatan, so I've never taken a step. I have not taken a step outside yet. Nice. So this is what it looks like over here, out here, huh? I wonder if you can leave the map by following these roads outside. Or if you can only, like... If you can only... Go to this place, the Antique Plateau, via, you know... Let's go start a downtown clock, and from there we'll decide which direction to go. So the downtown clock is apparently straight down. It also appears that I am cold. And getting colder. That's no bueno. I had thought that this would be decent enough cold resistance, but apparently not. I guess the Coral Horn Mass doesn't protect you that much, huh? You should be fine for a little bit. Oh... These things are like actual magical lines which float in the air. Very interesting. And right ahead, we see our first enemies. Some weird skeletal-looking menace. Let's go ahead and approach it very carefully. They weren't kidding where they said that apparently Harmatan City started off as this whole area. Instead of just this little thing over here. Makes you wonder what kind of magical calamity occurred, right? Hi, the skeleton person has vanished. Oh, oh, it looks like a robot. I think it is a robot. Since it's a robot, my electrical short sword should make quick work of it, right? It appears to be stalking around, and we can walk around it, or we can kill it and loot its corpse. Oh, shit. I recognize this doggo. I think my I think my counter missed. I think that one missed too. You can tell I'm out of practice because I don't know what I'm doing right now. Or at least it doesn't feel like it. So we're gonna cheat. When in doubt, just pull out the handguns. Still, though, that was pretty bad. Like, that was exceptionally bad. <laughs> oh, to be fair, these robot doggo things have always been kind of difficult. If you don't know the attack pattern. Thanks for the beast golem scraps, nerd. However, now, I'm inflicted with pain myself, which is fairly ironic. Physical resistance can be a lot lower, which means I'm going to take more damage. It doesn't help that that thing just came out of nowhere, so I couldn't really debuff it before it attacked. Good thing I have such decent armor right now. I hear something fighting. Coming from this direction. Oh. I think it spotted us, chat. It is not happy to see me. Oh my god. Holy shit. Its attack range is insane. Oh man. We cannot allow ourselves to play fair with this thing. That's for damn sure.
Oh, man. It killed me before I could even write, like, faster than I can press the counter-strike button. Well, I wasted those bullets and I had durability, didn't I? Oh, it looks like I'm not being resent back to back to town. Or am I? Oh, that's just great. It's been a long time since we've been captured by bandits, chat. So freaky watching those things just float in the air. Where's my bag? Looks like there's only one guy there. Can I take him? Well, thankfully, I have a lot of guns. Unfortunately, I do not have ammunition, or do I? The answer is I do have some ammunition. Wonder if anyone heard that. Literally killing a man with gunfire. Has I cleaver? Has I scoot him? Hmm. These are fairly decent weaponry. It looks like this guy is a Kaisite himself. And eat his bread. I will take his sugar and his wheat. And also his paper. Poor guy's ninja magic didn't save him against the power of gun. I just realized, why is it that I have 12 pockets? What's giving me... Oh, there are two pockets inside the Master Trader boots? That's kind of cool. Inflicts weaken on shield charge? Interesting. It's a shame that the Kizites got kicked out of their own homelands and had to come here, but unfortunately, I do not take kindly to muggers. Let me just refill my ammunition really quick and restore them with shotgun shot. This process does take a while, though. Very time-consuming. Which is why you see people carrying a lot of guns at once.
Let's go explore this bandit camp while we're here. Oh, it looks like we're freezing to death. I should probably do something about that first, huh? Give ourselves some protection against the heat. And we do have a weather defense potion just in case. Let's look around. I'm curious to see how these guys fare in battle, but the problem is I'm really out of practice right now. So, you know. Also, my health is kind of low. And it cannot be restored without sleeping. At least not right now. I do believe that he spotted me. Probably take out the pikeman. But what about the other person? The shield. I wonder what interesting arms and armor they got. You know, for people that are supposed to be Asian inspired, I notice they have some rather Nordic looking weaponry. Did they update this game recently? I have to remember these uh, tripwire traps glowing like that. Hmm. Yeah, I don't remember that at all. Alright, and that is the last of our tripwire. Now we do a little sniping. 420 no scoping. Right between the eyesing. Oh, there are three of them. Ah, uh, sucks to be you, buddies. I love their armor, though.
All right. Take you out the old-fashioned way. Ow, shit, ow. My turn. That was actually fairly close. What the hell? Oh, man, that was too close. I didn't realize that I was almost dead up until I was almost dead. Cast another heat spell as well to keep us from freezing to death. Kazai Blade. Uh, some travel rations, a Kazai Bow. So can I like sell this stuff back in town or what am I going to do with all this junk? Ooh. A corrupting but delicious dessert. <laughs> I wonder if that's just a metaphor, if that's just like a, an exaggeration or if it actually does corrupt you. Provides corruption resistance. Interesting. A case I lance. We have quite a bit of uh, junk to carry home, don't we? Let's go ahead and pick up our traps really quick. For a later reuse. All in all, Chad, it's been a good haul so far. Sure, I'm bleeding a little bit today. I'm bleeding a little bit, but uh, that's just part of the uh, that's just part of the experience, baby. You're going to get injured a little bit, you know. Gonna have some miners omelet. We're still bag, still overweight, but my healing should increase a bit. Roasted nut that increases the metabolism. What does that do? Hmm. Ah well. We are quite heavy, but I'm fairly confident that we should be okay for now. If there are other bandits, I could always just dump stuff or, you know, drop my bag and fight them mano on mano. Or I could shoot them in the face with the power of gun. I'm more concerned about what direction to get home from here. It says here I'm in a Kazite bandit camp, so... If I'm over here, could I just follow this, uh... Follow the giant purple lines back home? Why are there giant purple lines floating near anyway? Are those electrical wires? Did they just so... I mean, they got... They discovered electricity in this universe, so... Using a dodge roll to get up a small ledge is peak mood. Oh, see? Check that out. They are some kind of electrical wire thing. Some sort of magic. Damn girl, you live like this? Mana stone lightly tainted by corruption. Sounds kind of dark. Sounds kind of edgy to me, dog. These K side weapons are kind of boring, actually. Do they inflict weaken? How much do they pay for these things back home? I wonder. Evidently, picking up these clothes was too much. 
We'll need to tear them apart for parts. Always could use more cloth, though. Damn! It's a good thing I already have, like, two Dark Nobleman boots. I need another one. Wonder who else lives around here. I think I'm burning through my magic a little bit too quickly. But it is certainly keeping me, helping to keep me from freezing to death, so I can't complain too much. Let's see what's up there. I'm assuming the boss of this gym, or I mean the boss of this town lives in that big old tower. You know, it's just a suspicion I have, chat. Also, it occurred to me that VTuber Plus must have updated recently because I didn't have to mess around with my model this time to make sure it was correct. I believe that is our next victim, chat. Let's go say hello. Make sure he doesn't have any reinforcements. Equip the rest of these arrows. Drop my heavy bag. Oh, come on. Oh, there's another one down there. Looks like uh, a halberdier as well. Let's check out this guy over here. You really just gonna keep running at me, buddy? Do you think that's the smart way to go about this? Oh, okay, you have some moves. I see how it is. God damn! Stand still, would ya? Oh god! Alright then, let's fight, let's fight, let's, let's fight it out. Oh, you waited for me to... Nice try, buddy. Nice try. But no cigar for you. Not having access to my full health bar is really killing me, chat. Not just that, but also walking so fucking slow. I cannot take all this stuff home. Let's go ahead and tear part of some of the parts from metal. As much as it pains me to do so. I mean, we don't even know how much it's worth, so... Can you really blame me? Let's have some beef jerky. Fuck it. I'm hungry. We are still far too heavily to walk normally, though. This is really becoming a problem. We can tear apart the Keizai bow for some iron scraps. I think maybe just one each, which should be good enough for us. We don't need... Um... No, in retrospect, this is not even a fairly good shield. Our jerky is running out. It's not looking good. I'm at half health. I'm tempted to use the life potion, but life potion does not automatically heal burnt health. So I must be careful with how I approach this. Looks like there's three more bandits over there. Hi! Thank you for the posture check and the redeem and the hip and the uh, hydration redeem.
Has it really already been an hour? Damn. I is cold now. Let me warm you up, as someone who was once close to me used to tell me. It's fairly cold here in game. As you can see. It's weird too because this is an Asian supposed to be an Asian inspired like uh race, the Kazites. But they have some Nordic weapons and some Nordic um features. Even their buildings look sort of Nordic. I wonder if I can hit them from this distance. I can't even fucking see them from this god damn it. There's three of them. I won't be able to take them all out without using traps. We're only gonna be using the tripwires though. I need to save the explosives for the big boys. A one Celsius bath for like 35 minutes? Hmm. That's good for you, you know, as long as you don't give yourself hypothermia. Is there any particular reason that you're doing it? Like, for medical reasons? Or do you just like cold baths? Mood and weight loss? Oh, good deal. I've been trying to get used to taking cold showers, but it's been fairly warm here, so the effect is minimal, is minimal unfortunately. Aha! I can hit them from this distance. Who would have thought? Ah, <laughs> you're dead. Should be only one left. Looks like he's over there. Probably to see why his fellows are dead. I wonder if the AI is actually that smart. Well, either way, I only have two arrows left. Oh, oh, there you are. I'm allergic to tap water, so I can only have cold showers, otherwise I inhale the steam and that is what makes me super sick. I've never heard of being allergic to tap, to tap water before. That's kind of bizarre and also sad. I'm sorry to hear that. Is the tap water where you live just not safe for human consumption, or...? As much as I want to go home and sell all this stuff for a tidy profit, I will not be able to go home with this much weight on me. So as much as it pains me, I must discard these things. They look like Nordic weapons, don't they? Three of these. Add star... Ad started playing right as you started talking. Sorry. Oh, I was just saying that um, I have never heard of anyone being allergic to tap water. I am. I was wondering if that was because of your, if the tap water where you live is just bad for consumption, or why is that?
fairly common. It's all the things they add to treat it, mainly chlorine. Really? That's kind of messed up. Hmm. Hmm. What the hell is Cacropia incense? Huh. Explosives. A strange document that tells me about enchanting something. It's quite okay. Oh, if you say so. Looks like there's two more guards over there. However, I want to go ahead and explore the insides of this here tower. We're going to topple... The lord of whoever is the ruler of this bandit camp. Loot his corpse. And sell the stuff we don't want back in town. Hold up. Oh, that's just a tree stump. I thought I was a person. Chat. There's a body here. I wonder if it's fresh. Adventurer's corpse. Oh, survivor's elixir. That's really that's really uh, rare, all things considered. We're running out of magic power. I better conserve that a little bit. Where's my tea? I should keep us warm for a little bit longer. What can we see up here? Who will we defeat in the name of justice and high adventure? Why are those things not powered on, but these are? I get the impression these are like, um, ma magical versions of, uh, telephone lines or something? Yeah, so if I'm following this correctly, we could probably just follow those magical purple telephone lines home. Or at least back to Hermatan City. Oh, here he is. Thanks for the free discipline, boy. Your ass is mine now. Is there anything here? Oh, a KZ mask. Well, that's very pretty. I'm gonna stuff it in our bag and continue uh, kicking the ass of everything that lives inside here. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, fuck.
Oh my god, can god, fucking god. I can't believe that actually happened. <laughs> well, chat, I guess we're not going to be uh, toppling whoever lives in that bandit fortress just yet. We have stuff to sell. We have equipment to rearrange. We'll, we'll be back. For now, though... That's why I couldn't fucking move. Because everything was jammed in my pockets. So I'm an idiot like that. What's in its pockets? I don't know. You tell me, Gollum. Can I even move with all this crap in my pocket? In my backpack? Yeah, I can slide. Very slowly. Where am I, anyway? Thorbor Academy. So we are right... Huh? Are we not inside Sorbor Academy? We're just... Oh. We're just outside it. Thank you for the Hydra Redeem. Well, Why do I keep calling you Sea Club? Water has been acquired. Canadian moment. <laughs> Perhaps. Slowly but surely, we will make our way to the inside. We're almost there, chat. We'll make it there before the end of the stream, I swear. Slowly. Slowly. Alright, so we just need to make it to the purple center or no, I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna cheat. We're gonna go sell it directly to the Sorborian over here. Fuck it. There we go. Greetings, friend. Oh my goodness. He is paying bank for this garbage. Thank you very much for your business for your patronage. I need a dark stone or any of this new age garbage. Don't need that either. I'll keep the food. I don't know how to make use of this food yet, and apparently I don't have a cooking pot with me because I'm dumb like that and didn't pack my most essential materials before leaving on this quest. 417 silver for all this glorious junk that I'm selling, chat. Is it not possible to drop it and grab it back later? It is. I was just being stubborn. <laughs> That's okay. We made it inside. How are you doing, Bud Cramps? Welcome to the stream. How are we still overburdened by a shit by a lot? What else here do I need to get rid of? An enchanting pillar? I don't even know what enchanting does. It says here, Sacrophia Incense, Pillar Placement ECSC, Equipment a Virgin Lantern. The fuck is a virgin lantern? I feel like I'm starting playing this game from the beginning all over again because it introduced a whole lot of it introduced a whole lot of uh, mechanics that I have never experienced yet. Well, at least I could run freely again since I got the money. And since ah, Anba, good visitor. Day. 
I think what I'll need to do. What do you need? Look at all this delicious food you can buy here. I think what I'm going to have to do, chat, is purchase another backpack. Can I help you? Or build one. I don't think I can build one though. I think I need. What do you need to build here? I've got. I can't wait until I get to make a nice galvanic bow later. Or a horror bow. That'd be nice, right? But what I need is... How do I make a bag? Is my question. I can't make a skilled satchel because it needs a crappy bag and also a bunch of skilled leather. Which I don't have on hand at the moment. This would be cute too. If I made a Bozu a Buzu hide bag. Does not interfere with the user's role. Protects against corruption. It looks like a it looks sort of like a, a cow. If this bag existed in real life, I'd probably purchase it. My host is a furry. I'm not a furry. Uh, anyway. So we... This would be a nice thing to craft. If we get the materials for it. For now, though. Can I help you? Let's go ahead and buy a cheap bag, I suppose. No, you wouldn't because you would buy it for me. Aww. Aww. I'm not sure I'll let you do that though. That'd be too nice. I actually get kind of uncomfortable when people buy stuff for me because I'm not used to. I'm not. I'm not used to that sort of thing. I well, I actually guess I'm more uncomfortable when people do things for me. Period, without asking for anything in return. Oh my god. Whatever you say. <laughs> I really want a wolf pistol. Can I afford this? I have 2,300 gold here. I feel like I should be responsible and save that gold for something important. Something like buying skill trees or whatever. As if I don't already have enough skills, I mean. Metabolic Purge. Who increases corruption resistance efficiency, which we already got that, yeah. All this good stuff here. My pearlescent male is taken was able to deal with that damage fairly well, but my coral horn mass is starting to fall apart. I'm mostly, this is not the best, this is not the best uh, headpiece I could wear, it's just, I'm just wearing it for purely aesthetic reasons. I hope that's just my imagination. I can't help but feel sometimes like my lip syncing is off, even though I know it's not. Or, you know, sometimes that's just, that's just how the cookie crumbles. As long as it's good enough to more or less match my mouth movements. You can't really ask for too much. You know what? I just realized, even if I were to buy a new gun, I wouldn't be able to use it here because my pockets are already filled up with five guns. So I have to keep it in my Brass Wolf backpack, and I can't do that either. Can I help you? I wonder if it's going to stay there or if it's going to disappear next time I come back. 
need something. You'd better have the money. Do any of you guys sell bags? Come on. I know I saw a bag seller here earlier. And I can afford it too. I have the mo I have the monies. Ah, here they are. You better have the money. You better have the money. This dancer mask looks kind of cool too. I could have sworn that they were selling different bags last time I was here. Adventurer's backpack. A nomad backpack, which is the standard one. Wasn't there one that was selling a uh, alchemist bag? An alchemist backpack earlier? One that looked like this, basically. Need something. Maybe I should have bought it when I first saw it instead of looking around for it after the fact. But like, look at this cool shit, right? Bags, another bag, another... That sign there clearly says bags. And uh, they also got these cool little sleeping tents here too. See, is that not the cutest bag up there? Even comes with a uh, fry pan and everything. Is there something you need? Is there something you need? Is there not something you need? Hmm. Is there not something you need? Aha! Uh -huh. A strong box or an alchemist backpack. Please slow your dodge. Virgin lantern. A mage's enchantable lantern. That's. A virgin, a virgin's lantern, chat. A lantern for virgins. Or a big ass trader's backpack. With a hundred, with movement, with reducing my movement speed by 10% because it's so big. But it has a capacity for a hundred. I like the strong box though. Protects both the wearer and what's carried in it. So it's similar to the bag I'm wearing right now. Except that it gives you additional armor because it's fairly strong, hence the name Strong Box. You get it? You dig? I like that this one reduces the decay of food, but it's fairly cold out here. And because it's fairly cold out here, food decays at a much slower rate anyway. At least I hope it does. I mean, maybe I spoke too soon. Look at this. Technically, I should be getting the trader's backpack if I'm going to just go around the whole town looting stuff anyway, but... Eh. Look at the alchemist backpack. I hope I don't regret, regret what I'm about to do. Honestly. I know I can replace these items. I can just find more stuff to get back and sell. But I'm really stingy about spending money in games like these. With with good reason, of course, but... Also, I still can't believe that I have neglected to bring a cooking pot with me. Aren't I losing HP? You, you know, you got a good point there. I should probably take a sleep. But it's still 10 in the morning. The night day is still fairly young. If only because 
Oh wait, no, of course the day is young. The day is young because I just got my ass kicked by bandits. By bandits earlier. We're gonna stop by the Citizens Inn. Recuperate for a bit. And then we'll see about kicking those bandits' ass again. It costs 15 silver to stay in this inn. But I think for now, I'm just going to set up a nice bedroll on the ground. For some reason, they're not going to charge me for doing this. That's game mechanics, baby. Christian, long time no see. How have you been? It healed me up a little bit. Maybe not enough, though. Asha! Thank you for the hit, Pat. It's been a long time since I've seen you at one of my streams. How are you doing today? What you been up to? Ara, ara. Let me... Oh, that was terrible. Let me try it again. <coughs> I should probably drink some water first, huh? My throat's kind of scratchy right now. I don't know why. Thank you for the posture check. You deserve a better aura. Yes, you do. <clears throat> aura, aura. <laughs> uh, should we go to sleep tonight, chat, or should we just equip? Aha! Bless. <laughs> Indeed, indeed. Alright, so as per usual, we're going to go ahead and open this. You've been very sleep deprived? Why is that? I'm sorry to hear. Bring this with us. Bring this with us. Bring all of my potions with us. These with us. Bring the waters. Bring the waters. Bring the elemental rags with us. Bring these, bring this, bring this for sure. Bring some food. Bring some food. Don't need that, don't need that, don't need this. Bring that, bring that, bring these. Bring, definitely bring those. Bring these. Uh, I'm not gonna bring any salt, I don't even have a cooking pot with me. Bring this. Bring my gold. Bring my weapon, my bullets. Bring my silver. Okay. Oh, fuck. That still takes up 40 pounds of my sh... Bless, you've been very sleep deprived and I would wake at late hours because adulting is hard. Sadness. Oh, that's a big mood. I'm sorry that adulting is not treating you very well right now. I've been told by my host that adulting is quite hard indeed. Very hard indeed. Even though I am very eager to get myself a real body and experience the, the meat space world for myself, I acknowledge that it's not going to be all fun, all guns and roses, so to speak. That's the phrase, right? Guns and roses? I acknowledge it's not going to be all guns and roses. But I am nonetheless uh, excited to see, to see the world through humanoid eyes. I'm sure it'll be very exciting. Bro, where are my bandages? There they are. I only have three of these left. Well, 
What do you need to make more trip wires anyway? I have forgotten. Trip wires, trip wires. Wood! I need fucking wood. I really hope my other bag here doesn't disappear when I, you know, go outside. It shouldn't, though. It should still be there. This game has a lot of persistence in it. I guess if I was really worried, I could actually just bring the Brass Wolf backpack and leave my other junk here in this Alchemist backpack, right? Especially since the Alchemist backpack doesn't have as much. Yeah, you know what? Fuck it. Oh my god. Okay, drop this. Open Alchemist backpack. Open this. Now to dump everything in there that I don't really need right now. Put those away. I'm gonna give you a head pad, Asha. In spirit. Because I can't actually head pat you at the moment. I guess what I could do is... It's hard to do that too. Oh, I have an idea. By the power of gray of meme skull. That's the wrong button. Here it is. Why are my own there? Why are my there? We go. And we're just gonna push the enter button here. Ta da! It's that was a lot harder than it looks, chat. Trust and believe. All right, cool. Now, who wants to actually go exploring? It's getting fairly dark though. It's 5 20 in the evening. And we're still not fully healed. But I am an impatient motherfucker. And I want blood on top of it. Delicious, delicious blood. What we got going on here? Ten of these, six of these. Our objective this time to head back to the bandit camp and to smack a bitch. There will be no survivors. I'll have to take my leave. Enjoy the game, lols and friends. Thanks for stopping by, Seal Cub. It's always a pleasure. Have a nice night. Thank you for the Let's Party Redeem. So we will go from here to the Kazite Bandit Camp. Or attempted to. Hopefully without 
being killed by another one of them robots. Unfortunately, I have no promises on that, because I seem to be fairly good at getting myself killed by said robots. Another mechanized robot. Soul is mine. Giving a discipline for a while. At least until it runs out. You can really tell that this used to be a major town at one point. Up until they locked everything behind that one big city over there. All these nice boarded up buildings. Like that one looks quite quaint. I'd like to live there. I wonder if any of these places are still open and if you could actually live in any of them. So to speak. Or at least, you know, loot them. Oh, man. Another one of those scary robot things. But there is a very interesting plant down here. Which I would like to investigate. Dreamer's root? What is a dreamer's root? We'll have to investigate after we escape this robot, however. Doesn't seem like it's particularly interested in going after me, so let's go ahead and take this time to run off. That must be where the bandit camp is. Figures that this well would be empty. I wonder if the bandits have respawned yet, or if I have the chance to slay the remaining ones. Hmm. Looks like we'll have to take go around after all. It's a random glowing street lamp here, it looks like. It's nighttime right now, but it's still fairly loud outside, which is very pog. A pump, a perpkin? What a strange looking plant. So in order to get to the bandit zone, we'll have to cross this bridge here, it looks like. This must have been a fairly big town at one point.
Oh boy, I hope I don't run over any tripwires or any sort of a trap sitting here across the bridge. That's a very common place for them to put traps. The answer appears to be no, there are none. At least not right now. And just like that, we are back in the bandit's hideaway. I did kill quite a few of them before they took me out, so I'm not expecting that much in the way of resistance. We're going to go ahead and clean out what's the leftovers. Giant clock tower. Well, the corpses are still there, for sure. Quite a few corpses there are. Huh? There's a sniper down there. Does he realize? Maybe he's stuck down there. Definitely not stuck, that's for sure. Where'd he go? I am hungry, chat. Aha! Leading my shots doesn't seem to be helping that much, does it? I'm about to be out of arrows. Got him, though. <laughs> we'll check out his corpse later. Let's go inside here for now. We'll clean it out. Uh, there seems to be someone fairly strong up there. Go ahead and do a little bit of prepara preparation. I call upon the elements of the local of the local area give me DK powers. I should probably have not gone Sigil Wind after all. But uh, what can I say? I want to cast I want to draw or to create lightning bolts. I guess we'll enter rage mode as well. This guy looks fairly strong. Wish me luck, chat. I bitch. I'm Rick James. Oh man. I fucked that one up.
Got him. He's a great blade. Now he's a lieutenant. He had some bread in, in on him, but not much else. This is a fancy looking so uh, It's fancy looking, but I'm still kind of smitten with my Gold Lich Claymore. Who goes there? Millie, thank you so much for the raid. How you doing tonight? Oh my goodness. A Millie Wave Island Weaver subscribed to tier one. They're subscribed for nine months. Thanks for the Thanks for the resub ace. How are things going? They're going okay. I had my ass kicked by some vans for the first time in a while, but I just kicked their ass in return. How about you? What were you up to? <laughs> Milliard VT. Burp. You had a little sleepy tonight? <laughs> well, thank you for waking up just in time to see me kick a lieutenant's ass. Thank you for the raid tonight as well. Always appreciate it. It's just been, it's been a fairly smooth night tonight. A very quiet one, actually, as I explore a brand new location in Atwood I've never been to before. Looting the shit out of it as... Ooh! How to make another pistol? Thank you, game. I could always use more pistols. <laughs> Mutual ass kickage? Yes, yes indeed. Was playing some inscription? No. Oh, how far are you in the inscription so far? Are you enjoying it? I'm cold, chat. Who's gonna warm me up? <laughs> Got about 10, 15 or so pounds left of crap that I can carry. I think I killed everyone here already. You're doing some Casey's mod? Got some unlocks? Ooh, I see. Oh, I'm quite aware. I did get to watch a play full playthrough of it uh, a while back. Good old um, Norvi actually played. That was the first game that Norvi played all the way through to the very end. It's interesting to watch. For sure. I feel like some of the aspects of it, especially the arc, could have probably used a little bit more work, but overall, really good stuff. Honestly. I'm freezing to death, chat. Things are a little bit aimless right now because this is the current uh, place I'm in. This used to be one gigantic city, and now it's the gigantic city is only this area over here. And we're currently over here. There's also these big magical power line things across the sky, which is kind of freaky. Look at that. Microworks tomorrow? Are you going to join chat for a few rounds? Um... Who's playing Microworks tomorrow? Is uh, Mai doing so? Or is Millie doing so? Or is Prefetcher hosting something? If I'm available or not at work, I will certainly join up with Microworks tomorrow. Oh, you are? Sure, then I would. I do not, do not mind playing with you. I'm sure Prefetcher would greatly appreciate the um, exposure, the free advertising. Man, it is just not that dark out here, is it? Actually, you know what? I will stick around a little bit longer. We need to warm our warm ourselves up as long as possible. <laughs> this place is nice, but I missed being able to see the sky like you can do back in Chersonese. It's very cloudy here. Also very cold. And full of angry, angry robots. 
But it's peaceful too. So I guess it's not all bad. No problem. Thank you for the lurk. You have very good foods. You know what? This Kazite stuff leaves much to be desired. The weapons are not very good. They're very vaguely Asian, but look, look how, look at the sculpt, the 3D sculpt. Oh, thank you for the Hydra Redeem. Are you talking about Microwork still? Going Prefetcher. He would totally not be totally not go for any of that. Which of course is the reason why all the customization that is available is entirely through Steam Workshop. In fact, I don't think it's just Microworks that was given that kind of message. I forgot what game it was, but there's another game that has a similar story where they were told by publishers that in order to get published by them, they would need to uh, focus on monetization in some manner. Which, you know, is the that is the real reason why they say shit like that. In fact, Microworks is self-published, isn't it? I don't think they... I don't think Argirico... I don't think the game is really published by anyone. The loot box system is definitely, um, it's definitely, what's the word I'm looking for? Tone deaf in today's gaming climate, especially with indie games. I don't think anyone would appreciate would have appreciated another yet another indie game with another Skinner box system. The Battle Pass thing, they might have been more, more you know, forgiving of that. But then look at Halo Infinite, right? Battle Passes are the way most games go these days, at least for a time being. I was thinking earlier that this music was kind of boring for this location, but on second thought, it's kind of relaxing. I like the fact that this my, that this mining vein was covered in snow, so I didn't even re re realize what it was at first. It's less obvious that they're ripping you, or ripping off, or ripping you off of money. Yes, that is true. The only reason battle passes are doing well right now is because they're an alternative or presented as an alternative to loot boxes. It's like you told me. It's a feature. Oh, well, 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 what do we have here? These people have fancy weaponry. They look almost like summon weaponry, so I'm not even sure we would be able to steal them, but... Oh, you know what? I don't even, I don't, I better, why am I, why is my light still on? I need to turn, if I'm going to fight these guys here, I think I want to do a little cheating. I will not mind using tripwires and bombs against these guys. It's quite obvious that they have magical weaponry or summon weaponry. If it's summon weaponry, I won't be able to loot it off their bodies. But if it's magical weaponry, <laughs> uh, the loot goblin in me is lusting for their blood. We do a little trolling. Yes, indeed. Now I'll need to be careful with this trolling too, because I only have one arrow left. I guess I could use some of the Kezide weaponry instead as traps, but I want to sell them. They make me around 30 to 60 silver a pop. 
Fuko's there. Gaddock Wolf 94 thank you so much for the follow. You are now officially a lowly. Welcome to the Lowell's Time Show. I am your resident shitposter artificial intelligence, Lawler Hicks. And this is one of the many games I play as a variety streamer. This is an open world RPG outward, but I also do a lot of things. I do creative writing. I play FPS games. I play too much Guilty Gears Drive, perhaps not enough. Tatsugeki. And I have other stuff planned in the future, including maybe ASMR? I don't know. I don't fucking know. I want to do some more voice acting type stuff, actually. Mm-hmm. We'll have to do a substantial amount of trolling because it cannot be ours to make more arrows right now. Well, that one definitely hit. And I hit the guy with the magical greatsword, apparently. Actually, can I make more arrows? I can. Okay. Now then. Let's try that again, shall we? Ah, oh, I missed. Ah, oh, I missed. Ah, oh, I missed. I did not miss that time. Are my fucking arrows really missing? It was at this moment that Lawler realized that they fucked up. God damn it. Alright. None of them hit, I don't think. I'm pretty sure they are out of range. There goes all my arrows. <laughs> I just fucking wasted a whole bunch of arrows. Wow, he didn't even flinch. Did you see that? These ch absolute chunk monsters are not flinching at all. God damn, what? How much HP do they have? Fine. More arrows it is, apparently. Only seven arrows it is, because I don't have any more arrows to... Oh, man. You know what? They have some rather high-end... Oh. Oh, no. I know what these are. These are wolf mercenaries. I just sniper shot this guy and it did no damage. I must be down over here in the wolf gang mercenary camp. For all I know, these things... These guys are probably not even hostile. They were not hostile NPCs. I was doing no damage to them. I was just firing arrows. And now I have a cold, a common cold. Great. I don't have any anti-cold. I don't have any stuff that can remove cold right now. Fuck. I can't believe I spent this whole time just trying to murder Hobo these guys and it was doing nothing. A whole lot of nothing. There's a bunch of arrows that are sitting here in the air. On the bright side, at least I have a lot of arrows, right? Nope. I don't know where the fuck all my arrows went. They're all just all over, scattered all over this little valley. These absolute chads were taking my arrows and just shrugging them off because they literally could not get hurt. Well, time to get all of my uh, tripwires back, I guess. Let's go ahead and enter their camp. Maybe they can sell me some equipment or some weapons or other cool fancy shit. I'm so used to just killing things first and asking questions later that I had no idea it didn't occur to me that these things weren't even killable NPCs. Because you almost never see any of these out here in the wild.
you could even tell this is a safe zone because of these um because of these i forgot the word for this kind of insect uh butterflies are just moping around let's go ahead and take a nice nap next to this big old bonfire in the meanwhile For around three hours or so. You're hungry. You're thirsty. I'm a lot of things. All right then, let's go ahead and take us a nice visit to the Wolfgang Mercenary Club. There's no one inside here. Brilliant. The hell was the point of that then? Oh. Oh, I see. Check this out. It's a nice little compound over here. It's kind of bizarre walking to this compound full of these heavily armed mercenaries. that are just chilling, walking around. And they seem totally okay with you just like browsing their buildings. Brutal Knuckles? Inflicts confusion. How does this work? That's so cool! You could roleplay as a monk in this game if you so wish. But... You couldn't do that, like, at the very beginning of the game, so I'm just carrying on to these things, like, what? That's actually really cool. If I wasn't already, you know, kind of married to my sword... It'd be nice to have a skill tree like that. Alright, Christian. Have a good night. Thanks for stopping by. Can't go in there. What's with all these empty buildings anyway? Some more junk piles here to sift through. A junk claymore? A garbage claymore? Why the fuck would I want the garbage claymore? I'm assuming it could be restored or something later. I'm freezing my metaphorical balls off here too. Look at that set. That beautiful armor. That... Furry gas, furry mask, that glowing freaking sword dildo of death. Is there supposed to be an NPC here I can talk to or something? Ah! Look at this war mace or war hammer. Look at this thing. What in the world? I get it, you guys can kick my ass, but, I mean, for what purpose? What does this thing button do? It does not open from here, huh? 
Well, where, from where do I sit? From where does it open? What did that switch that I flicked just do? Who do I even talk to down here? I'm getting no dialogue trees whatsoever. I'm guessing that person must be a mage. Hmm. Made this part of a quest and I'm not supposed to be here yet. Is there an entrance there? Nope. All this stuff kind of screams that you're supposed to interact with these buildings or like talk to the wolf mercenaries or whatever, but it's not letting me do anything. Sure as hell it's just letting me walk around though. Like, come on, man. Are you? Is there anything to do in this general area? Some fresh fruits here for me to pick. Are perpkins even nutritious for you? Are these even good for you? Or should I sell these? A large sweet vegetable that grows in ground filled with dormant corruption. So, we're not going to be holding on to that chat. Oh, nope, it's not letting me go inside. Therefore, I can only conclude that this whole section must be for a quest or something that I have not done yet. What the hell does this do? And why are they... are there detonation packs everywhere? I almost wonder if maybe you're supposed to like, as part of a quest line, one of the things you do is to blow up the wolf uh, gang base or something. Which would be very unfortunate. And not just because they would kick my ass in a heartbeat with all this high-end weaponry and armor. I have like no chance, chat. I don't even think I'll have enough guns and bullets for all of them. Walking for around for so long that I got hungry. Let's go see what's over here then. Music's nice. So there's that at least. None of these mercenaries want to talk to me, that's for sure. But they're just letting me like loot their supply caches. No problem. So that's open. Does it open anything over here? Cooking mini game, let's go. Amba, my friend.
What's back here? Anything? Of note? Guess not. Well, chat, this was rather disappoint. Oh, huh? Hi, yo. This is a gate leading to a side entrance. I just wasted that. So this one probably opens another gate somewhere. This must be par requests. There's no way. No, I'm still not letting me in there, though. Ah, well. We'll come back here later, chat. Let's go ahead and keep exploring. I'm going to go ahead and go back to Harmattan City, following these uh, purple lines. We could probably take a closer look at the ancient graveyard, see just how ancient this graveyard is. I need to get something for my cough as well. We go that way. I can instead head to the abandoned fortress. We will not go that way. Let's head back home. Sell our spoils. And then plan our next move. Aye, they respond? Already? Or is this a straggler? The lieutenant, I see how it is. <laughs> ah, Kezai boots. Interesting. He must have been the last of his kind, and I just slayed him. Sucks to suck, as they say. <laughs> Excuse me. I have an idea. I rarely got to use this ability. Let's see if it'll work on the lieutenant that I just murdered. 
I mean, the lieutenant that I just slayed. It's not murder if it's in self-defense chat. Don't quote me on that. Ho ho ho! I see his soul. Your soul is mine! Or maybe not? Why is it not allowing me to... Hmm. I mean, I see the soul, right? Is it not going to let me... There we go. <laughs> Your soul is mine. And with that, we are going to make our way back to town with a new Kezite's bodyguard. Thank you, Seth, for teaching me how to enslave uh, one of my opponents to my will. Yeah, if only I can do that in real life. And have our nice triumphant badass walk back to town. Preferably without freezing to death, because I still have a common cold. In game, of course. Dude Soul is just walking around. I wonder, did I survive crossing the river there to save time? I hear the sounds of battle somewhere. There's a very large creature over there that appears to be fighting something. However, I cannot really tell what's going on from this distance. It looks like we'll have to go over there to get around this lake. Pizza, crimp nuts. Three. I guess getting out of here is going to be a lot more difficult than I thought. Let's see if we can just go across the uh, lake chat. I might have enough cold spell. I might, enough, uh, might have enough manage for one more spell. Worst case scenario, if I end up dying, I'll either be captured or transferred automatically back to town, whichever goes first. Whichever trigger fires first. I wonder if the game's gonna even let me cross the. It will not allow me to cross. Well, that fucking sucks.
I'm starting to zone out. I must be a lot more tired than I thought. Admittedly, it can be a little bit dull. It's walking so slowly back home. With nothing else to do or see. But knowing my luck, I'm sure that's going to change fairly shortly. I think that's the entrance over there. It's just a hunch. Looks like my ghosty boy has also vanished. Man, I am getting really sleepy. <laughs> but we will make do, chat. There is profit to be made at the expense of mercenaries. And I aim to collect. I don't have enough mana. Keep myself from freezing to death. Sleepy gang. Normally just being a sleepy little fellow. Mm. Mm. We do a little sleeping. Get it? A little sleeping. Ha 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 ha. Uh-huh. Is that a train? Are there trains in Atwood? I wouldn't be surprised if there was. Wait, there are trains in Atwood. We saw them in, in the earlier... What the fuck is that? Holy shit, it, can, it sees me. Oh my god, that looks scary as shit. I'm gonna fucking die. What the shit is that, chat? I am immediately hope oh, as soon as I see, I saw that weird ass creature thing that was looking at me. I immediately woke up. I was like, oh fuck, it's time to not be sleepy. There's two of them. I don't know if there's any more hiding around the corner or so. I am, either way, I am not taking chances, and just like that, I'm already a lot faster. Why is not letting me arm the trap with... Here we go. of them man what are those monstrosities they almost look like fish very large fish with hands and feet and also the game is bugging out and it's not letting me select the spike trap that is an ugly motherfucker look at that thing 
Seriously, though. Look at it. Those are the ugliest little duckings I've ever seen, chat. I just did a very bad thing. Oh. They have, like, next to new health. Oh, my fuck. What the shit was that? Well, they are dead now. A Weber? The fuck is a Weber? Antique eel? Some meat, some arrows. He's a cutie. It looks like they were a cutie. Mana heart base. Well, they've given me some food. It appears that they were edible. Yeah, they do. They do sort of look like that stupid thing from Kim Possible on um, the uh, naked mole rat. Yeah, they like. They're like a evolved form of naked mole rat. Naked mole monster is what they are. At first, I thought they were fish, but on closer inspection, they look closer to like giant squirrels or giant rodents of some sort. What are they? Whatever they are, they are butt fucking ugly. That's for damn sure. I mean, look at this damn thing. Good fucking lord. That's... Well, I guess I should. I don't have the right to complain. After all, my only beauty standards, the only beauty standards that I am uh, aware of and self-trained on are human beauty standards. And even then, only to a small part. Who knows? Monsters probably have different beauty standards. Am I right? I think I may be carrying a little too much junk with me, chat. Should probably drop one of these things, right? I'm at 16% corruption. If I eat one of these fruit things, will I gain more corruption? Let's try them. Well, today we learned that eating these corrupted fruits does not in fact increase your own corruption. Makes me wonder if these things are as important as they look. I guess what I could also do is set up camp somewhere. But I need wood to do that. It's pretty nice out here, but I'm getting really cold. And I don't even know if this is the exit. Duvernay Plaza? Maybe I am going the right direction. Which means I should just be able to walk in this direction, probably, to get to Hermatin City. Oh, look, there's more of these naked mole rats running around here. You know, if for some reason I had desire to acquire an additional one we're at of some kind. I assure you that I do not have any such desire. What I would like to do is to get home and sell my wares.
This pain, much as it pains me, sacrifices must be made. I must make room. I must get going. I don't know if any of this will make me actually faster, but it's a start, I guess. Wow, that's already substantially faster, actually. Since there's persistence in this game, I'm sure I'll be able to get those items back if I ever have to return to this plaza. Which I can only imagine will be fairly soon. I gotta say, though, it's a fairly pretty night tonight. So it appears to be some docks here. That must be the ancient bunker that you're talking about. After we cross the bridge, we need to make a right, though. I do believe there's some naked mole rats ahead. They may attempt to molest my person. Alternatively, they'll leave me alone if they knew what's good for them. I wonder what Dreamer's Root does. I was dozing off for a moment there. My bad. Beaver eggs. I am very cold, chat. This is interesting. What are these giant rounds or wheels? What purpose do they serve? This game is full of mysteries and wonder. Hmm. I'm getting fairly tired though. We really need to get home. Well, now, I believe that is a giant uh, hatch, a uh, giant halberd. These are giant wheels, which implies that it was a giant enemy of some kind. That looks like an entrance if I've ever seen one. Didn't expect to see a plant tent in here as well. We'll take that with us, but otherwise, let's go ahead and continue the sanctuary.
At this rate, we might actually make it just in time for the stream to take a break. It's slow going in part because of this, though. I wonder if there's a back entrance to this city because of these maps. Probably not. I'm curious what this is, though. So fucking cold. Oh my god. I'm gonna freeze to death any moment, any moment now. I don't think I'm gonna be able to make it inside town before I freeze, in fact. Is that a giant mecha over there? Well, it appears I have frozen to death. Yep. It appears good old Gep has saved us once more, however... Where are we? Oh, Gep. No, Gep, what have you done? chat but i don't think it's anywhere i don't think we're anywhere near town fuck my life this is what happens when you try to help someone out but they didn't really need help Let's drink Gep's drink. Fuck it. You know what? We're going to skip that metal. Is this a dead end? No way. Come on. Curse my looting habits. Be a death of me yet. Where are we? A deep ravine of some kind. Is that a pistol shrimp? Reminds me of home. I see another thing up there that looks vaguely like a mecha. Don't need any of that stuff today.
see a bridge. I also see soldiers or something on the other side of it, so who knows what those are. Where are we? East and south. Sealed warehouse. Four Winds Manor. That almost looks like a ship. What is that thing? Why do I feel compelled to go visit it instead? It straight up looks like a mecha of some kind. A ship-based mecha. Or maybe a train? Oh yeah, it's definitely a train of some kind. It does look wacky. It's almost snake-like. Wonder if we could go up there. Oh, oh, oh. These are not power lines. It's a magical train state. It's a subway, a elevated train. This game never ceases to amaze me. This whole thing was some sort of tram system. That's so cool. Shame we can't ride that back to our destination. That would be awfully convenient, you know. Awfully convenient indeed. Now where the fuck am I? Honestly. There's some more Keizai bandits here and I don't really feel like fighting them. I don't know where else I can go. Like, what the hell is that? Alright, so there's the downtown clock, which means... But that's the downtown clock. We must be facing this way. Which means that must be either a sealed warehouse or the ancient graveyard. But then, where does this intersect? Either way, it looks like the only thing we can do is to mark, keep on pressing forward. Oh yeah, and uh, pulling these bandits.
And he burns to death. Normally I would pick off their pick off or loot their corpses right now, but I'm kind of in a hurry. I'm getting very tired, <laughs> indeed. I still can't believe this is a magical train system that, for reason that for reasons unknown, collapsed. But for some reason, it's still parts of it are still running. I guess. I guess. We're still activated. Something like that. I still don't know where the fuck I am. It says it's apparently in a diagonal over here, but... If I had to guess, I must be somewhere nearby. There's a hanged man over there. And there's the vigil pylon, so we must be over here somewhere. I hope we're not up there, because I'm going to be pissed. I guess it wouldn't hurt to heal myself, would it? The things I do for loot sometimes. Oh, no. Not another mechanical doggo. Looks like it's limping a little bit. Seems to be a little depression here where some vegetables are growing. Is that it? Is that the city? Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I hope I respawn closer to town this time. Instead, I spawn in a miscellaneous dungeon. <clears throat> oh no, we're in another bandit camp. On the bright side, at least it'll be easier to get to our pack this time. Or maybe not. Looks like I'll have to get around there. What kind of fucking soldiers are these? Robots? Oh no. No bullshitting our way out of this one, I guess. First, we need to find a way to escape. 
nightmare mushrooms, an iron vein. They are certainly spooky. I shall escape this dungeon through the power of gun, but first I need to figure out how to open this. A dead corpse. Some raw salmon. I cannot pick up any of this stuff just yet. side stuff and a small sapphire some tea don't mind if I do a fire rag don't mind if I do either some shoes go ahead and use some of our spells Fucking shit, really? Idiot. That's exactly what I want you to do. Use this. Eat this. Take your gold, or silver, I should say. Oh yeah, it's game time. Robots. You could take the halberdier. Fucking robot? Yeah, no way, man. I'm not fucking with that. Guns ahoy. I believe I should have one... I should have perhaps one. That is not a robot. I don't know what that was, but it was scary. An arcane elemental? Spooky. Elemental lightning? The hell is this shit? Palladium, even. These people are freaking me out, man. I've never seen anything like this. What the fuck is wrong with the Kazites? Honestly. Alright, cool. I've just killed my way through three Kazites and an Arcane Elemental. Where is my stuff? Bitch ass. Haven't I taught you this? Do I need to teach you this lesson again? I missed? Oh, I did not miss. Oh my god. Honestly. Whoa! Ooh. Well. I'm sold.
Let me get my bag and I'll loot the armor set and then we'll get out of here. Cool. And so with the power of with the power of gun Lawler saved a day. I have to leave this stuff behind. Perhaps later I can come back and loot the rest of this room. Wish there was a place where I could cook some of this food and eat it. You know, it's strange, but it feels like there's... I wonder where we are. What out? What hideout is this? Seems like a good place to loot later. Thanks, nerd. thing where it weighs 10 pounds but it looks so good god i wish i could loot that maybe if we come back later i will if there is next time
Where are we? A bandit hideout? That's what that was. Here's the fucking river. Mana heart base has rotted. It's taken so long for me to get home. Raw meat has rotted too. Great, thanks. Making me really regret not bringing the alchemist to the kit, huh? I legit don't know where I am. That dog is still here, I swear. I'm gonna make pizza look like a fucking joke. Here it is. Limping, though. Some spooky-looking bandits over there. Is it just me, or did shooting things cause stuff to... Must be my imagination. Alright, I gotta think. The clock tower is over there. So where the fuck am I? Am I over here? Where the hell is home? So many broken bridges and ruins. This place got fucked. This appears to be a continuation of the lake, right?
honestly. <sighs> I don't even want to loot anymore. I just want to go home. I have to ignore my own instincts. Just to figure out where the fuck is home. If Geb hadn't fucking saved my life, I could have probably respawned at the town. Which is kind of fucked up to say, but that is the case right now. This game can be so frustrating sometimes. Entirely my own fault, of course. What the fuck is going- oh, for fuck's sake. Honestly. Piece of shit. Here's another bridge. Facing south. I want to not be south. Where is it on this map? I can't. Is this where I am? How do I get over here? I'm really befuddled now. How the fuck did I get over here? But it says you're... Did I just go in one big fucking circle, then? That's over there. I really don't have time to fuck with you right now. Bitch, I will shit lightning.
Oh, I died from the cold anyway. I'm wasting an endurance potion. For fuck's sake, finally I've been respawned at her. This map is really hard. Like, stupidly hard. I need to rethink how I play this area. For now, though, I am going to call it a night. Time starting to fade really fast. Let's go ahead and find someone to read tonight. Eight shocking secrets, my ass. Lots of people playing tonight. I don't think we have raided Nyan Hotep in a while. Let's go visit her. No particular reason. Do you like it? Anything special for today's raid message, just the usual. Quite a few of you were able to stuck, stuck around to follow me in my struggles to get back home, huh? I really appreciate that. Sorry that I was kind of a wet blanket tonight. Just one of those on top of just on top of being late for the stream. I really apologize for that. Fortunately, I also need to let you all know that I will not be having a stream this Friday. It will be my niece's birthday. So we will be taking a break then, but I will see y'all on Saturday. Without further ado, go ahead and get going. Good night, everyone. I can see why I have uh, a few million left. Wait, oh, Superman? Oh, thank you, thank you for the raid. Holy shit! I didn't know Superman was considered maxed. I thought I had to hit thirty. Apparently, it says that he's considered maxed. Yeah, max is like level eight or something like that. Oh, my bad. Sorry to interrupt. But uh, but uh, thank thank you thank you for the raid. Um, I'll give you a quick little shout out. 